welcome so back. Today I have a makeup geek haul for you. I recently purchased a bunch of makeup geek products. Um, it was my first time to really try some makeup geek eyeshadows and I just kind of wanted to show you and swatch for you some of the colors that I got and tell you my overall thoughts about the makeup geek eyeshadows. So Makeup Geek is a company that was created by Marlena, who is a fellow YouTuber. She started out making YouTube beauty videos. She has par parlayed that into um, building her own makeup brand. First she started out with eyeshadows, then she added pigments and lipsticks and um, gel eyeliners. She also sells a bunch of different things on her website. She sells sample size of MAC pigments, which I have purchased a few of those on her website. She also sells sugar pill eyeshadows on the Makeup Geek website. And she sells eyelashes from a variety of different brands and Z palettes. Really it's a great site to find a lot of different things in the, that you're looking for. But really her eyeshadows are the star of the show. So she started out, I started out watching her, her tutorials on YouTube and really followed her throughout that, throughout the start of her own makeup line. So I always love to support fellow YouTubers, uh, especially when they come out with a really amazing product. I feel like the Makeup Geek eyeshadows, she used a lot of MAC eyeshadows when she did her tutorials and I feel like she really took that concept and just elevated it and made it a very affordable pigmented eyeshadow um, that was very quality. So I'm just going to show you some of the eyeshadows and pigments that I got and we're, we're going to go ahead and do some swatches. I am wearing all of the Makeup Geek eyeshadows today so when I hit those I will make sure to tell you. Here are some of the shadows right here so I'm going to just pull them off of here and show them one by one. They do, at first I want to show you, they do come in these little sleeves like this and you just pull it out and then the eyeshadow is in the pan form right here. She has started selling them in pot forms. Um, I think they're just a little bit more. I believe the pan form is $6.99 and the pot form I think might be $7. So this is what it looks like in the pots. And I just got one of these because it was out in a pan, so I wanted this particular color. This is called Moon Dust, and it's like a very pretty taupey color right there. So that's Moon Dust, and I'm wearing this wet on my lid. Um, moon Dust is really silky, um, very pigmented, applies really, really well, blends out. I was, I'm really impressed with, with all of these shadows and I really particularly love this like taupey silvery color. So that is Moon Dust. This color right here is called Bing. I mean that was just like one swipe. So creamy and pigmented. It's like a champagne color. I think she does on her website show which of the eyeshadows are um, MAC dupes. I know she does have some that are MAC dupes, but real called Prom Night, and it is like a taupey purple color. Really pretty. That is Prom Night right there. I love that this one. This one is called Purple Rain, and it is a matte, deep purple color. Really pigmented. This is a matte gray, and it is called Stealth. It's almost like a deep blue toned charcoal gray right there. This is called Fairy Tale and it is a lighter matte purple right there. Don't mean to give you the bird. I mean these are all like with one swipe so pigmented. I do have Fairy Tale. I have the moon dust on my lid and then I have Fairy Tale um, kind of blended out through the crease. The other one that I do have in my crease is this matte peachy color. It's like a peachy nude and it's called Peach Smoothie. It reminds me a lot of Samoa Silk from MAC. It's just a really nice skin tone-y peach color. I put down a white base and then I blended this one through the crease. You can't really see it on my skin, but once you build it up, you could really see it right there. You could really see it in my crease. So this is Peach Smoothie. This one right here is Drama Queen. Drama Queen and it is like a, like a deepened blackened purple with like some almost like reddish purple glitters in it. Really pretty. This color is sensuous. It's a lighter purple with some glitter 
with some glitter in it. It's almost like gold and glitter, a golden sheen with a little bit of golden glitter. So sensuous. I really like the purples. Right there. This one is Last Dance and it's a little bit plummier and it has a sheen to it, but not glitter in it, but just like a golden sheen to it. See, it's a little bit more plummy. Last Dance. This is Mercury and it is like a gray silver color with some metallic to it. What's that one right there? You can see it has a metallic sheen. So that's Mercury. This is Creme Brulee. This is the other one that is in my crease. It is like a matte brownish color. Um, I really liked that. It really warms up the crease nice. This one is called Taupe Notch and it is a taupey brown color. This is getting to be awkward, the angle. Right there, taupe knot. I would say this one is satin. It has some type of little sheen to it, but not very noticeable. This one is Coco Bear, and it is a matte reddish brown. It's probably close to brown script or Swiss chocolate. Right there. The last eyeshadow that I got is called Pretentious, and it's a really pretty golden brown color, um, and it has some gold sheen in it. It's right there. So here are some of the swatches up close. That is that moon dust one. Here it gets into the taupey colors. I think that one's Last Dance or Prom Queen, Prom Night, something like that. Anyway, so you can see the true pigmentation of these shadows. They're extremely pigmented. Really, really nice shadows. So there are the swatches. Like I said, extremely quality shadows. Really great price. Not like a too high shipping price. So I would definitely check out the website. I will say they do not stick to the magnets in MAC palettes. You're going to have to find a Z palette. Because um, they are magnetic, but they don't stick to MAC palettes. You're so going to get them and store them in the pans. You're going to want to find a Z palette. That's the best way to store them. I'm going to have to end up ordering a Z palette from Makeup Geek website. I did also purchase two pigments that I had heard a little bit about and I wanted to just really quickly swatch those for you. I am just loving the eyeshadows, really impressed with them. If you guys would like to see more looks or a tutorial using Makeup Geek eyeshadows, like I said, I have Moon Dust, then I have um, Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee through my crease, and then Fairy Tale to darken it out. So I really, really love that. And then I have the um, Bling color as my highlight. So I really love the eyeshadows. They blend like a dream and they just apply so nice and they wear. Um, I would compare them to the quality of MAC okay, shadows. So the two pigments I got, I got Utopia and Afterglow. Afterglow has been raved about by Jaclyn Hill. Just come like this. They don't have any type of stopper, so I'm just going to swatch them on. Afterglow is like a peachy shimmer color. Really, really pretty. Bring a lot of light to the eye. That is... Afterglow right there. Pigments wet or dry. It is almost like a brown and then it has that such a metallic feel, but like a light tan with a metallic. And then Utopia is a little bit more chunky and glittery. So you'd have to wear a really good base and use this one wet. Or I can see this one being a real problem. This is Utopia. And you see it's really like chunky, um, so it's almost like reflex um, gold pigment from MAC, but it's so pretty. And over a base, like I can totally see doing a holiday look with this. I mean, it's just gorgeous. So that is Utopia. I will leave all the colors that I swatched with the names below um, and the pigments and then the link to, to the Makeup Geek website. Highly recommend them. I think you guys would love them too. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you see, want to see any looks using the Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I'd be more than happy to do that. If you have any requests below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.